Hi students, in this session we will discuss about light. Basically when we speak about light, what is light about? It is nothing but a form of energy. So a form of energy which helps us to see objects around us. There are different phenomena related to light. Before we go ahead with studying what is light and what are the different phenomena, there are two major phenomena related to light which help us see the things around us. So very beautiful world around us, we will be able to look at it, observe the things, objects around us. All this is happening because of two major phenomena. One is reflection of light, another is refraction of light. So first we start with reflection of light. When we say reflection of light, so to understand that before going for reflection we need to understand what is a light ray. How do we know that a light is traveling from one particular position to other position? Okay, we receive basically light from what? Sun. Sun is the main source of energy for us. So when beginning from the sun, rise to the sunset, we are receiving light from sun. Fine. But what is the path of that light which is traveling? So that path of light is called a light ray. It is a quite common phenomenon that we will be able to observe small streaks of light when uh, maybe in the winter season early in the morning. Okay, Just we open the windows or if there is a small hole in the window through which light is entering into a dark room, okay, we will be able to see that streak of light. Clear? So, the streak of light helps us to see that okay, light is going in the form of rays. So basically light ray is a path along which light travels through. Okay. Now what are the different kinds of light rays what we can observe? Suppose see here this is a candle over there. Now in this candle you are seeing that the, it is switched on and light is emanating light goes in all directions right so when we wanted to show that light is traveling in all directions when we draw it we indicate with the help of small arrows pointing outward from the flame of the candle so this way this helps us that what are the light rays i am drawing each one is a straight line okay so this light rays which are drawn over here which indicate that the path of the light is traveling with the help of an arrow whatever we are showing. Okay. These are light rays. When I lit candle like this, when I wanted to show that light is traveling, we will draw arrows away from the flame in all possible directions. And the source is the flame over there, you can see. And from that flame, different arrows are coming in different directions. You can see, as you move away from the point, the source point, that is the flame, the distance between different particles along the light ray is increasing. Okay. When I consider two particles on two different light rays and the, they are traveling like this, so what is happening? The gap between these two point rays are increasing. So this indicates that the two light rays which are traveling away from a single point source. This way, this type of rays, we will call them as divergent beam of light rays. So any light source you can say pointed source, pointed source in the sense a small one like a candle here shown here. Okay. So this is like a pointed source. From the pointed source we have light emanating from in all directions. So the beam of light what we observe here is a divergent beam of light. Okay. If I take an example of a tube light like this Okay, we know that the tube, light, the fluorescent tube, light is coming out of this fluorescent tube in all directions. And if you wanted to show that light is traveling, again we will draw lines from the fluorescent tube and then point them as light rays traveling from the fluorescent tube. In, in such a case, you will not have, will not draw a divergent beam. You can see there are different rays which are coming from the uh, bot towards the bottom of the tube tube light and towards the up, up, upwards of the tube light also. 
So all these rays are what? Parallel rays. They are coming parallel. So this is what you call parallel beam of light. Other than a pointed source of light, like in a candle, other than a candle, we can take the example of this tube light or any other such source. We will call them as extended source of light. It is not a point source. And there is a third beam of light called convergent beam of light. Okay. So how do we get about the convergent beam of light? When we study about concave mirrors, then we will be able to know what is the uh, convergent beam of light. Okay. So it is like different light rays coming towards a common point like this. So here you can see that different light rays are there coming towards a common point. So they are coming from different directions but finally passing through a single point. So such a beam of light we will call it as a convergent beam of light. So after getting through the different light sources a pointed beam and pointed source of light and extended source of light after knowing about the different types of rays ray of light is nothing but the path along which the light travels then we have a bunch of rays we'll call it as a beam a parallel beam a convergent beam a divergent beam now we need to understand what the basic phenomenon which helps and which is the essence of our topic that is reflection mm -hmm.